Hey welcome to Manila Updates TV please, subscribe and press the bell icon for more updates. Tonight, we're tracking major defense talks between Tokyo and Manila. The Philippines is negotiating to acquire Japan's Type 03 Chusam, a cutting-edge medium-range surface-to-air missile system. This deal would mark a historic shift in Japan's post-war military policy and a leap forward for Philippine defense. For decades, Japan's pacifist constitution limited arms exports, but changing security threats are prompting Tokyo to act. Supplying the Chusam to the Philippines signals Japan's new role as a stabilizing force in the Indo-Pacific. For the Philippines, this is more than a purchase, it's a strategic realignment. The Chusam would instantly upgrade the armed forces of the Philippines, providing credible deterrence against advanced aerial threats. The nation's military modernization has long focused on internal security, but today's threats are increasingly external. Acquiring the Chusam directly addresses these new realities, offering defense against fighter jets, cruise missiles, and more. In a region where tensions are rising, especially in the West Philippine Sea, this capability could shift the strategic balance. As of December 2, 2025, negotiations continue, but the direction is clear. Japan is stepping up as a key security partner. The deal represents a shared vision for a stable, rules-based order in Asia. Its impact will reshape alliances and send a strong message to potential aggressors. The world is watching as these two maritime democracies forge a stronger bond. This partnership is set to redefine regional security for years to come. The Chusam deal is the centerpiece of the Philippines' defense modernization. It's a powerful statement of intent in a rapidly changing region. To grasp the significance of this missile deal, we must look at Japan's transformation. After World War II, Japan's constitution renounced war and banned arms exports. For over 70 years Japan focused on economic growth and diplomacy, building advanced defense tech only for itself. But new security threats and shifting power dynamics have forced Tokyo to rethink. In 2014, Japan introduced the three principles on transfer of defense equipment, allowing controlled arms exports to allies. This policy shift lets Japan use its technological edge to help friendly nations like the Philippines. The current talks are a direct result of this evolution. For the Philippines, this means access to advanced systems and a stronger, more self-reliant defense. For Japan, it's a way to contribute to regional stability without deploying troops abroad. By empowering partners, Japan helps create a resilient network of nations upholding international law. The Chusam deal is a test of Japan's new proactive role in regional security. It moves Japan beyond checkbook diplomacy to true security provider. This is a profound transformation for a nation long defined by pacifism. The partnership with the Philippines strengthens collective defense in the Indo-Pacific. It's a strategic move to maintain a free and open region. Japan's new approach is reshaping the security landscape in Asia. The Philippines has long faced a critical vulnerability, weak air defense. Its military, focused on internal threats, lacks the means to counter modern aerial attacks. While new fighter jets and radars have been acquired, the country still lacks a medium to long range, surface to air missile system. This leaves a significant gap. Fighter jets and short range defenses can't provide comprehensive protection. Without a medium range SAM, cities and strategic coastlines remain exposed. In a region with rising tensions this is a major strategic weakness. Potential aggressors could exploit this gap, threatening sovereignty and national security. Building credible air defense is now a top priority for the armed forces of the Philippines. The Horizon Modernization Program identifies layered air defense as essential. Acquiring the Type 03 Chusam would finally fill this gap. It would allow the AFP to detect and engage threats at a distance, transforming its defensive posture. This upgrade is crucial for credible deterrence and national security. China's military buildup and assertive actions in the South China Sea have heightened the need for Philippine air defense. Beijing's advanced air force and missile arsenal back its expansive claims, often at the expense of Philippine sovereignty. Chinese vessels and aircraft routinely challenge Philippine forces, while militarized artificial islands project power deep into Southeast Asia. This creates a persistent threat and risk of escalation. Without credible air defense, the Philippines is at a strategic disadvantage. The Chusam deal is a direct response, aimed at deterring aggression, not provoking conflict. With Chusam, the Philippines could hold Chinese air assets at risk, forcing potential aggressors to think twice. 
This levels the playing field and supports peaceful dispute resolution. It's about defending sovereignty and upholding international law. The missile deal is a vital step in countering coercion with credible deterrence. The Type 03 Chusam is one of the world's most advanced medium-range air defense systems. Developed by Mitsubishi Electric, it's the backbone of Japan's air defense. The system is mobile, mounted on trucks for rapid relocation and survivability. It can target enemy jets, helicopters, crews, missiles, and drones. Its AESA radar tracks over a hundred targets at once and resists jamming. Missiles launch vertically, engaging threats from any direction with high accuracy. The Chusam's network capability allows it to share data with other batteries, fighter jets, and warships. This creates an integrated air defense picture, multiplying effectiveness. The upgraded Chusam Kai offers extended range and improved performance. Future upgrades will counter even hypersonic threats. For the Philippines, this means a leap to state-of-the-art air defense. The Chusam is built for today's and tomorrow's threats. Acquiring the Chusam would transform Philippine defense. It provides a modern layered shield over critical assets, Metro Manila, key bases, and economic zones. The system fills the country's biggest defense gap, creating a no-go zone for aggressors. With a range over 50 kilometers, it can destroy threats before they reach their targets. This enhances deterrence, making any attack costly and risky for adversaries. The Chusam's networking ability integrates with new Japanese radars and Philippine fighter jets. This creates a unified, real-time national air defense network. The AFP moves from isolated systems to a coordinated defense grid. Diplomats gain leverage backed by credible military power. The Chusam is more than hardware. It's a strategic game-changer. It marks the Philippines' entry into modern air defense. The missile deal highlights a rapidly deepening Japan-Philippines partnership. Both nations are maritime democracies and U.S. treaty allies, committed to upholding international law. Japan has steadily provided patrol vessels, surveillance aircraft, and advanced radars to the Philippines. The Chusam deal moves cooperation to a new level, sharing high-end military technology. This reflects deep trust and a shared security outlook. Japan's support helps secure vital sea lanes and regional stability. The alliance is a model for balancing against coercion and promoting a rules-based order. The missile deal is a powerful symbol of shared resolve. Why choose Japan for such a critical system? Trust and reliability are key. Japan's defense industry is renowned for quality and dependability. The Chusam is expected to perform as promised, crucial for national security. Japan offers long-term support, training, and maintenance, making this a true partnership. Politically, Japan is a benign, trustworthy democracy with no hidden strings attached. Unlike some suppliers, Japan's goal is to help a friend defend itself, not create dependency. The Chusam is compatible with Western systems, avoiding interoperability issues. Compared to other options, Japan offers top-tier technology and a shared strategic outlook. For the Philippines, it's the ideal solution for building credible defense. This partnership strengthens both nations' security and independence. Finalizing the Chusam deal will send ripples across the Indo-Pacific. It will strengthen the Philippines' position in the West Philippine Sea, deterring aggressive actions. A credible air defense forces adversaries to reconsider risky moves, reducing escalation. The deal signals regional resolve to uphold a rules-based order. A more secure Philippines makes the entire region safer and more stable. Other Southeast Asian nations may follow suit, deepening security cooperation. The agreement still needs to be finalized, with financial and technical details to be settled. Political will in both countries is essential to see it through. This is more than a missile sale. It's a defining moment for the Japan-Philippines partnership. It's an investment in deterrence, sovereignty, and a free Indo-Pacific. The Chusam deal could shape peace and stability in Asia for decades to come.